بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. So today we'll be talking about the Arabic language, and this might come as a surprise to some. Commonly, when we want to say the Arabic language, we would say اللغة العربية. It's a sifa mawsuf construction, and you actually find this in many grammar books. Now, an interesting point about this is the Quran doesn't use this construction. If we look to the Quran, what does it say when speaking about itself? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهَذَا لِسَانٌ عَرَبِيٌّ مُبِينٌ So it uses the word lisan. And a point with the Quran is it uses words with perfect precision. And we'll actually find out that if the word لغة was used here, it would be incorrect. Now we can say اللغة العربية, no problem. But when it comes to the Quran, the Quran is precise speech. And for this reason, it would be incorrect. And let's explain why. So, now if we look at the root of لغة, the lamb, the غين, and the wow. The way the Quran uses this three-layer root is, for example, it says here, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ And they who turn away from ill speech. So we get the word, اللَّغْوِ Which is, ill speech. Useless talk. Now, an interesting aspect of the language is when we rearrange these three base letters. We get another three-layer root used in the Quran, which is the غَيْن, the lamb and the wow in this order. So the difference of this would be just the lamb and the rain in different positions. Now an example of this root being used is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Ahl al-Kitab, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, La taghlu fi dinikum. O people of scripture, do not commit excess in your religion. And here the excess is by calling Isa more than a prophet, by calling him God. So that's an excess. So from this three-day root, we get the word to exceed proper limits. Allahu, or idle talk, is to exceed proper limits. It's to talk too much, or to talk something that has no benefit. So we see how this three-day root was used in the Quran, and it wasn't used for language. Because when we call a language lugha, there is the added meaning of it being useless or an excessive language that's not needed. So Allah didn't use this three-layer root. Now let's get to the base letters where it was used. So here it is. It's the lam, the seen, and the noon. From this root we get the word for tongue, lisan. And lisan can also mean language. And it's interesting that the tongue actually is the point of eloquence. And that's the way it's used in the Quran. For example, in the Quran we have when the hypocrites made excuses. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. So they were trying to cover up the hypocrisy they had. And they tried to make excuses in an eloquent manner. So they were lying, but in a way to convince somebody. And from the same letters we get this through their root. And that's also used in the Quran. The noon, the seen, and the lamb. And from this root we get the word for progeny, which is quite interesting. Because language is something that lives on. It stays generation after generation. And that's something specific actually with the Arabic language. Because the Arabic language was preserved. We know exactly what each word means. There's no speculation. So we see how, subhanAllah, how accurate using this three-layer root was. لِسَانٌ عَرَبِيٌّ مُبِينٌ So I can be listen. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيْدِنَ مُحَمَّدُ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ